Hello, Cancers. This is Tara Queen Jamila, and I am here to do your Will of the Year reading. This is going to be for August 20, 20, I'm sorry, August the 2018 through summer solstice, which will be June of 2019. Okay, so welcome to the channel. Make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. If you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. I am running specials on uh, 30 minute video readings and then my one hour phone readings are on sale. So get those below. Um, I'm going to be using the Wildwood Tarot deck for this reading and welcome to the channel. So I'm just going to shuffle real good here because I've noticed repeating cards. <laughs> Spirit guides, ancestors, guardian angels for the cancers. Uh, we're going to go retroactive back to August. So spirit show me August 1st for llamas for the cancers. Show me uh, May bond, September the 22nd for the fall equinox of 2018. Show me Samhain, November 1st of 2018. And then Yule, which is December the 21st in winter solstice of 2018. Okay, show me Embalk, February 2nd of 2019. Show me Ostara, March 21st of 2019 for the spring equinox. Show me Cancer at Beltane, which is May 1st of 2019. And Litha, which is June 21st, the summer solstice of 2019. Okay. Where are you seeing cancer at? Okay. All right. So I've got your answer. Let's go ahead and... Okay. Okay, so here is your will of the year reading, Cancer. Let's get started. Um, you got Major Arcana, the Woodward, that shows up for llamas. So I can already see that August, it, it, you know, there was a struggle to where you had to fight and stand up and defend yourself i can sense a lot of people trying to uh take advantage okay possibly people trying to take advantage um possibly you having to assert yourself um this card is um It is a cross between, uh, first of all, the Woodward actually uh, sits at August the 1st. So uh, this is when the summer wanes and the elements are uh, fire and water. And he's associated with the full moon. Okay, so it, this is like the strength card. This card is like it replaces the strength card. And it represents uh, protection and, you know, doing things at will. So I feel like that's what's going on with a lot of you cancers as far as, you know, not wanting to feel, wanting to feel like you have free will. So I feel like that's what the Woodward is representing at this point. Um so this is the strength card and it also represents facing your fears um and you know not allowing yourself to be a victim okay not a, you know not playing victim 
braving it, you know, facing it head on. I feel like this is what's been going on for August. So you can definitely see that now for May Bond, for the fall equinox cancers, you guys got the five of bowls, which represents empowerment in this particular particular deck. Um, so you can definitely see you feeling that empowerment. Um, I do feel as though there are uh, adversaries that might be uh, fighting against you with the five of bowls because the five of bowls is the five of wands which we know traditionally in the tarot represents uh, competition and adversity um, but this card comes up for September 21st which is empowerment this sits at the fall equinox the five of bowls and what it means is uh, facing and defeating your greatest fears so it's about empowering yourself becoming more resilient and effective against adversity okay so you know when you uh it's about mastering and uh you know mastering uh you know and mastering a skill and uh making clear and decisive mental processes which is why they're showing the arrow in here the bow and arrow in here. So, empowerment, okay? Now, for Samhain, which is November the 1st of 2018, you guys got the Three of Stones. And the Three of Stones does represent, um, it does represent creativity, but what I can see is definitely, um, uh, some kind of financial growth that is coming up or so if it you know cancer if you wanted to know about your finances this is something that you don't have to worry about you can definitely see you having to deal with some sort of adversity um going towards uh you know between august and september 20 21st or 22nd which will be the the fall equinox okay now going now again going around to november the first the three of stones uh represents money it represents growth it represents a uh, financial reward so i can definitely see you feeling like um you know feeling it it, it takes feeling courageous feeling freedom and feeling like you are able to show your artistic side and um, so that's a really good energy. The three of stones is is um, showing financial reward and gifts that are coming up. Now looking at Yule, which is winter solstice, you guys got the knight of stones, okay? So the knight of stones is an earth sign, okay? So looking at Yule, the knight of stones does represent a possible feel like it's money and finances he represents abundance that this card is representing abundance um so the position at the wheel is passing through midwinter this particular card and um if, if it's a person in your life it represents a reliable a, re, a reliable and robust person getting the job done getting the job done um, checking the details, okay, land management, uh, you know, persistence. So it represents kindness and helpfulness and perseverance and benefiting. So you can definitely see around the winter solstice, um, feel like he represents abundance because he does represent the knight of coins but we will clarify uh spirits give me some clarity on this knight of stones for the cancers okay 
yeah it is some kind of money or abundance that's coming in but i also feel as though uh for some of you cancers it's possibly um it's possibly a lover or a relationship it's a relationship the knight of stones is a person that i feel like some of you cancers are either possibly moving in with this person um, at any rate, the Ten of Stones for the Winter Solstice is pretty good. It represents home and security. So if, you, if you're if you worried about your security, because I know winter can be really rough for some people, um, then I feel like I can see you definitely as being in a secure place financially. Okay. Um, and then also when it comes to health and everything. So you can see the struggle, but you can see as you get closer to the holidays, things do get a whole lot better. Now, looking at in bulk for um, February of 2019, the page of vessels comes up. So I feel like this also, uh, for some of you in particular that are single, I feel like this represents a messenger, the page of vessels. Uh, position at the will is at Samhain, but it represents uh, loyalty, devotion, um, somebody making you some kind of offer. Somebody making you some kind of offer um, around inbox. So um, if it's a person in your life, this is somebody who's very sharing, uh, has deep intuition, um, you know, some kind of love offer coming up is what I can see, okay, around in bulk, uh, which is February 2nd, around February. Um, Ostera, the, at the spring equinox, you guys got the Queen of Vessels. So the Queen of Vessels, she represents peace and prosperity. She sits at the autumn equinox, she represents kindness, joyfulness, recovery, security. So you can definitely see around that time of the spring equinox, I feel like a lot of you, especially to represent you, this is really, really good. I feel like a lot of you cancers are doing really good. The salmon represents peace and prosperity. Okay. And happiness and joy. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I see a lot of happiness, a lot of joy around the spring, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. Okay. Because who doesn't like spring, <laughs> you know, but anyway, Beltane around May, the, the forest lovers comes up. So the forest lovers, I feel like there's going to be some kind of major, uh, thing that's going to happen in your love life. I feel like it's got something to do with your love life, I can see a lot of you cancers possibly having new love or either making some kind of commitment to a lover. So I can see a love relationship being uh, sparked up. Okay, the forest lovers represents a blessed union, a friendship, taking sacred vows, um, Definitely can see love and commitment around Beltane, which is around May um, of 2019. Now, Cancer, the world tree comes up for Litha, which is summer solstice, uh, which will be June 21st of 2019. So the world tree uh, does represent completion. Okay, it's the last of the major arcanas. And it represents feeling really balanced, feeling really complete. Um, uh, it sits at, it's at the quadrant of fire. So represents completion, you know, um, creation going through a cycle. So you can tell that there is a cycle of your life that is ending around that time. I feel like it's positive. Whenever the world card comes up, because it's it represents being grounded and, you know, uh, being not only being grounded, but then also having a connection with the universe as well. 
okay so yeah i can definitely see that for a lot of you cancers okay anyway um i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading make sure that you hit the subscribe button and if you want your own uh you know year ahead reading the link to my website is below i'll see you guys later love and light